hi guys welcome back to this african perspective okay so the videos we're going to be checking out today is actually people ranting about a very important topic and this topic as you have seen in the title is about how majority of the time parents actually have children simply for the fact that they believe that those children will actually become their retirement plan that means they do not have a retirement plan and that children are supposed to be the ones that they invest into most countries in africa they have this mindset that I am having that this child and I'm going to take care of you as I have taken care of my own parents. I'm going to take care of you and invest into you, pay for your school, take care of you, um, make sure that you actually get set up in a way where you can find a job or whatever you're doing. At the end of the day, when I grow old, you'll be the one to take care of me. You'll be the one to actually fund, you know, pay for me and everything once you become an adult. So we're going to be checking out this video and see what people actually think about this. But before we get right into this video, make sure you please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Clicking the like button really helps with the algorithm and I appreciate that so much. Something we don't talk about a lot is how hard it is to expect it to be your immigrant parents' insurance. And what I mean by this is in a lot of immigrant families, and particularly Asian families, but I know it's common in other cultures as well, it's seen that your children are your retirement plan. Obviously, my parents raised me. I have no problem with taking care of them. I love them dearly, but it is so much pressure to be expected to be their retirement plan. I want to have fun. I want to travel the world. Sometimes I want to carelessly just spend money on things just because I want it. But instead, I am countlessly counting every penny because I'm worried that will I have enough money, not just for myself, but also my parents. And the pressure feels stronger when you grew up low income because not only are you their retirement plan, but you're also expected to pull them out of poverty. You are expected single-handedly yourself to build enough wealth to pull your family out of poverty and for you yourself to become the American dream. It has always been my dream to work hard enough so I can provide my parents with the luxuries that they didn't have when they were growing up, but it just feels so hard sometimes. Literally from a young age, when your classmates and your peers are thinking about all the trips they're going to take, how they're going to go somewhere for spring break, how they're going to do this and that, you're thinking about how you're going to build wealth so eventually your family can be comfortable. You Dear African parents, your children are not your retirement plan. Dear African parents, stop adding to your children's emotional, financial, mental stress. We live in a very stressful world right now. Things are expensive, the world is chaotic, people are losing their jobs. And you don't help your kids and your children's future when you keep pumping out children. You're pumping out children like there's no tomorrow. You can't sustain yourself, yet you're having children, five, six kids, and you're putting your children in a position where they need to work. You understand? Like, they, they, they need to work because they, you know, they are one of five, they are one of six, and there's not enough to go around. So you have kids that at a very early age, they're working. As some, some of them as early as 6, as 7, as 10, they're working. And they do this for their entire life till they are in their late 40s and 50s. And it, it's, it worries me a lot because this is a trend I'm seeing with a lot of my African friends and colleagues and acquaintances. It is, it is, it is universal. Now for me, I have the, <laughs> I'm lucky. I see the more I engage with my, with my African friends, man, the more lucky I see how I am. My parents don't actually, they don't require anything from me. I send because I want to, not because I have to, you know. But a lot of my my colleagues, their parents actively have this expectation of them that you have to send X amount of money to us. And if you don't send it, they emotionally blackmail you. They emotionally disrespect you. They call you lazy. They call you ungrateful. You're a bad child. You're a bad son. You're a bad daughter. But you're just... You just don't have the capacity, you just don't have the means. And it comes back to the African parents because you should stop having kids, in my opinion, if you're going to look at them as, as an investment. Stop having three, four, five kids when you can't even sustain yourself. You're bringing in children into an environment where they are already under stress. Like I know, in, like I'm, I'm Nigerian and I know in some cases you have kids working as early as as five years old as early as six you know they are working because the parents can't 
can sustain them you know so that's something you got to keep in mind and this is universal it is universal and there are some african parents that will blackmail you they will insult you just because you can't sustain it just because you can't maintain it and that is not that is not good at all you know that is not good at all you know if you're gonna have kids make sure make sure you can actually maintain make sure you can actually sustain it is it is very important you know Hello. make sure you can actually maintain and sustain you don't want to be having children in this very tough economic times where everything is chaotic everything is stressful and now your children who you had you had so many that you could maintain have to go work because mom and dad didn't plan well for them and now let's say they come to the diaspora wait wait it's already very hard they have to pay rent pay bills and now they've got to send money to you and lord knows how many others i've heard multiple situations where because the the child couldn't do it all of a sudden they're now a bad child all of a sudden they're now bad you know it is not good it just isn't good it is not sustainable you know i heard of a story recently of a of a of a girl you know she was complaining that she couldn't do it anymore because you know she was already dealing with so much so much stress as a result of that you know and yeah you know what i mean so there has to be a there has to be a bit of a a, a rethink in my opinion there has to be a bit of a rethink of how we want to maintain you know set up your kids to win not set up your kids to stress i personally don't think that's going to be sustainable you know what i mean so i think i think it's important i think it's very very important if you want to be if you want to be happy you got to set your kids up okay your kids aren't bad set your happiness away from your kids have your own life have your own investments have your own things that can give you earnings without having to depend and rely on your kids i mean that's just my opinion you know what i mean okay good luck and all the best my parents view their kids as more of a retirement plan you guys have to support me you have to chip in because you are my kid I know people have different views about this, but I feel like if you're gonna have kids, you need to know that they don't owe you anything. Okay. If they do it, they do. If they don't, it was a choice that you made to have them. Like, like I'm gonna do it anyway. Sure. But don't tell me. But I'm don't feel entitled to, to yes. it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But I can't deny that a lot of parents think that they bear kids to create sort of like a path for themselves when they are old and they are sick, you know, there's someone to take care of them. Your parents didn't leave you when you were young, so don't leave them when they are old. Yeah. Which is a very heartbreaking thing to hear. Yeah. We have to be honest, right? Yeah. Not everyone have the best of relationships with their parents. Not every parent have done right by their children. You can't expect what you didn't give out of your kids. You know what I mean? Oh. I think you can't expect wow. them to give you this, 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 or a certain level of this and that just because you have the title parents. So, not only do they actually want you to actually be their retirement plan, they are actually expect that their first child or the first grown, uh, grown up children that are a little bit, uh, you know, adult enough to go and work or be able to, you know, provide for them. They keep having children. These parents will continuously have kids and expect them to be the ones to take care of their siblings. There are a lot of kids that are forced to become mature before they even get to enjoy their childhood, before they have the time to just be kids naturally. I get people's points. I love my parents so much. Chances are you're the retirement plan. Rather than you going to them for help, they come to you for help. Yes, to everything in this video, let's talk about the pressure of being your parents' retirement plan. As the oldest Mexican daughter, I first felt this pressure when I graduated from college. I knew I was seen as the one who'd made it because I'd gone to college, so my family would naturally turn to me for financial support. It was a big weight on my shoulders. I didn't even know how to fund my own retirement and I had to figure out how to help my parents with theirs. While paying off student loans, car debt, and trying to figure out my own finances. My parents don't have anything safe for retirement. They don't know what a Roth IRA is. They don't know how the stock market works. But I'm close enough to them that I was able to have an open and honest conversation about what their retirement would look like. 
Luckily, both my parents are planning to retire in Mexico, so they'll be able to get by on the little social security that they're going to get. I'm still going to help them when I have the ability to, but this is a huge weight off my shoulders. But I know this isn't the case for everybody. How are you managing these expectations? How are you handling the stress? Are you having these open and honest conversations with your parents? And are you planning to help them with their retirement? Parents, your kids are not your insurance. Your kids are not your retirement plan. Hmm? Let me repeat again. Parents, your kids are not your retirement plan. They are going to have their own families that they need to feed. They are going to have their own partners whom they are going to have to come together and make financial decisions together. The same way you and your husband or you and your household were making financial decisions over your pocket. Do not go on this earth thinking that you are doing your kids a favor when you educate them and give them the best education and then afterwards they get the best jobs. Those kids are not your financial backup. If they help you, they are helping you out of, out of love not obligated. Now this is not the popular opinion, but I agree with this comment. I believe that my job as a parent is to take care of my children, teach them what they need to know, and give them the resources they need to have the best life possible. And when they get older, they don't owe me anything for that. Because that's my job. I brought them into this world and they did not ask to be here. I don't like the argument that, oh, your parents put a roof over your head so you're obligated to do this and that for them. Because they were supposed to do that. Anything else would have been neglect. Of course, many children help their parents when they can out of love and appreciation. But to expect that your adult child is obligated to take care of their household and yours too is crazy to me. Girl, there is no guarantee that your kid will want to take care of you when you're old. Why do you think old folks' homes exist? There are old people who have children, but their children still want to send them to the old folks' home because they think it's too burdensome to take care of their parents. This is a reality. This is a real thing. Wake up. The truth is, children are not a retirement plan. If your children want to take care of you in your old age, it should be because they want to. Sincerely want to. Not because you think it's the norm. Okay? There is no guarantee at all that your children would want to take care of you in your old age. Nor is there a guarantee that they will be able to afford to. Do you know how horrible the economy is right now? This is not the 70s anymore. So many young people can't even afford to buy homes. Think a little, please. I'm just gonna say it. Having a kid just so you can have a solid retirement plan is so selfish. It defies everything about what love is truly about. Isn't that what being a parent is supposed to be? Being a parent is about manifesting the essence of true love. And to love is not to demand or expect, okay? Love just is. Love goes out freely without wanting or expecting anything in return. I don't think it's love anymore if you only want kids to take care of you when you're old. Can we talk about how when you have immigrant parents in the United States or in Canada, it's almost like a counter dependency. Like rather than you depend on your parents, your parents depend on you. They depend on you for language. They depend on you to remember their Apple ID password. Chances are you're the retirement plan. Rather than you going to them for help, they come to you for help. While it's a blessing to be able to help your parents, it can also really result in a lot of trauma. Having to grow up super fast, having massive responsibility for the age that you're at. And honestly, just not being able to really be a kid and enjoy that time. So if this sounds like you, you should be really proud of yourself and you should seek therapy if you feel like it's something that can help. I really feel very sad for the people who actually feel very pressured because I know a lot of people who are pressurized. They have a lot of worries. They have their own problems, but their parents, their family are pressurizing them like, hey, you're supposed to do something for us. You're supposed to do something for us. And those people don't even get the chance to actually think of themselves. Yes, I know a lot of us love our parents. We want to take care of them. And for, by all means, take care of your parents. Like, I mean, except if they are some evil people and they never treated you nicely. They were so mean to you. Of course, naturally, maybe you might not be forgiven. Comment is actually very thoughtful. I wanted to share this comment with you guys. She she said when your wealth always has to go to previous generation you have no time to create wealth for your family future generation my dad always took care of his mother my mom always took care of her mother like they work with whatever money they have 
and they're always sending it back to them to take care of them because they cannot do for themselves if they don't take care of them what will be of them they will just you know pass away and have nothing they will starve so they have to take care of them by all means when it comes to providing a house for them providing things for them food and everything shelter they provide all those things for them they still provide for us so that means their money is being divided they, they they have to do for both people two people and it might not even just be their parents could be relatives also could be siblings so in this situation when that money keeps going back to the previous generation you're not putting in for your future you don't even have time to think and be like hey i need to create a business i need to do something to invest so my so my my future generation that are coming from me will do better like they'll be living well they will have but if <laughs> and you will be well yourself you have like your retirement plan you have your savings i know this is so difficult to do but i'm just explaining for you guys to actually see the points that this person is making some of them are old and still having kids expecting that their older kids will take care of them when they no longer can this is for real like it is so sad to see that situation i tell you many there are some children that have never because they were born as the old uh, older siblings they never had the chance to you know have childhood like to play around they don't even know what it means to actually think for themselves they all they know how to do is just to provide for their siblings they only know how to just do carry their whatever money they have it's like let me just go and pay for this person i need to take care of this one i need to do this and it's like how how can they even have children of their own if they've had children that may not theirs but technically their siblings that are like their kids for years and years and god bless them it's more like a retirement fund you're basically living to die if you don't have kids things are not going to be the same forever you are dead ass saying that the sole purpose of you personally you the, the sole reason you are going to have kids or you have kids now is you're using them as a retirement fund but this once and i've said this so many times kids are not retirement funds us child free people we are called selfish so often like i feel like that's like the number one thing that people like to go to is you're so selfish honestly if you are having a kid just so you have a caretaker when you are old that makes you the selfish one because having a kid does not guarantee that they're going to one want to take care of you when you're old and two they might not even be able to take care of you when you're old like for example my mom has a really close friend and her daughter is um disabled she's not um i don't know the correct word for it, but she's not normal i don't know the right word for it but she is 20 something years old but she has like the mental capacity of like a six-year-old so it's like she is never going to be able to take care of herself she's never going to be able to take care of her mom let alone like no that's not that's not a realistic thing to to have a child for and like like let's say what happens if you know your child passes away before you do then what are you going to do like let's be real you're probably going to end up in some old retirement home because your kids aren't going to want to deal with you because of this mindset and you know old home old folks homes are just full of old people that their family never visits them their kids never visit them they literally just get dropped off and left like i i've heard um I've heard from my husband's friend that works in a retirement home that their kids will literally just say, just call me when they die. Like they don't care. Having kids does not guarantee anything. Hello po, so I want to talk to the parents, to mothers and fathers, reminding you that your child or your children are not your retirement plan. It was your decision to bring them into this world it was never theirs so the moment you've decided that you want to have a child the moment you got pregnant you had the responsibility to that child and that responsibility lasts until your child finishes his or her education it is even your responsibility to make sure that your child would have a positive self-image and would develop good morals and right conduct. Now, once they've finished their education and once they leave your house to start their own life outside of your home, give yourself a pat. It means that you did a good job. Now, when your child is working, of course, 
at first it's very difficult you've been there i've been there so out of the goodness of your child's heart your child would help you but please do not think that your child should give you every month up until you die it is your responsibility to yourself you and your husband to make sure that you would have enough savings for your retirement there's a principle of paying forward we take care of our children and our children will take care of their children so before i got pregnant with ava a lot of filipinos were telling me pag di ka karon na anak wala mag-aalaga sa iyo pag tanda mo and i just cannot imagine that the baby i gave birth to you know ava would be my caretaker when i'm old that's not her problem that is my problem you know our child would grow and would eventually you know depending on them have or not have their own family but it's their life so please do not tell your child pinakain kita simula nung simula nung buhay mo pinag-aral kita hindi ka magiging kung sino ka kung hindi dahil sa akin. It's not the right mentality. So I encourage people, my generation, you know, the 30s, the 20s, let us break, you know, that thinking. That is not the correct thinking. Not everyone are given the opportunities to have a child. They are blessings from God. So that we need to be having is this. Do we want to create generational wealth? or do we want to let the circle continue when it comes to you know taking care of your parents when they are old you know when they can't do things for themselves you know when they were energetic you watch them be energetic to the point where they start becoming older of course i would say be there for them like take care of them but I know there are some people whose culture or most times in the western world where a lot of them end up in nursing homes left alone by themselves having a child really does not guarantee that you have somebody that will take care of you when you grow old because there are a lot of people that have children and their children literally turn out to not be what they thought they will be and will not take care of them will abandon them literally and be like hey I ain't got time for this so that is not a guarantee but also stop having those kind of expectations so when you get disappointed you don't feel like your world has fallen down all right guys thank you for watching this video to the end i really appreciate you guys thank you so much make sure you please click the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video subscribing to the channel really helps with the algorithm and i appreciate that so much i will see you on the next video bye